I've built a VR gun for haptic games. Stick around and I'll show you how I did it. I'm a big fan of VR first person shooters. One way to increase immersion is to feel the recoil from the weapon when fired. Now there are haptic guns for sale but they're too pricey. So I built this gun that has a powerful blowback effect, connects via Wi-Fi and only cost me $70. The concept is simple. The player fires using the controller and the game event is triggered in the game. Now, a middleware listens to those game events and sends that signal to the ESP32 that then activates the EBB motor. Let me show you how I did it. For the parts list, I got the RK45 Spitfire and that's the electronic blowback motor. This is the ESP32 dev module. A 6 volt battery. Step up boost converter. Battery indicator. Toggle switch, a quest to crystal grip that uh, I discarded the top part, I only needed the handle. It's a high tech cable that I'll connect the EBB to the battery and a powerful magnet. This one includes the MOSFET, the diodes, and the resistors. Uh, you'll need this to connect it to the motor to enable it to fire. You can find all the instructions on how to build the gun and download the software through my GitHub page. I've included a link on how to disassemble the RK45 if it's the gun that you're going to be using. I also included a link on how to control a DC motor using an ESP32. This is the diagram that I followed to connect the EBB to the ESP32. I'm using a single power supply for both and I've also used a step-up converter to increase the voltage from 6 volts to 9 volts for the, uh, for the motor. The MOSFET is the one that controls um, the trigger. Um, if you have any issues following the instructions, just do let me know. Let's assemble the gun. I 3D printed a strap for the Velcro, a battery holder, and a cover for the ESP32. I changed my design for attaching the grip to the gun. Uh, and now I'm using a magnet. And then I, I, I glued that uh, Velcro strap into the, to the grip and I'm using some Velcro to just create a new um, strap for, for the controller. So once you put in the controller, you could just move that 
Velcro in to the halo. I found this old padding from a carrying bag and it really helps with the, with the comfort factor. So once you get it in, just tighten the Velcro and you're good to go. I added the washer to the EBB and that's that's the that's that's the metal that connects to the magnet. Let's jump into the firmware. In order to communicate with your ESP32 via COM port, you need to install the Scilabs CP210X USB 2RT chip driver. So go to their website and download the Windows driver. And then on your Arduino IDE, go to your preference and uh, copy this text um, in there. And then you go to Tools, Boards, Boards Manager, and search for ESP32. And install the latest version. And then you could go to Boards again, and you'll see ESP32 Arduino, and check, select ESP32 Dev Module. If you go to Ports, uh, you could check on your device manager and, and look at the COM port available in there. And then set that on your, on your Arduino ID. Going to the actual code, you'll need to change a couple of things. One will be the SSID and the SSID password. You can also change the server port if you want to. Now, you could change the delay time to, to time your, the, the trigger for your EBB. Mine works at 75 milliseconds. Next, let's, let's look at the software. I forked this uh, repo from Sola, the Half-Life Alex event detector. So credits go to him or her. And uh, in this in, in this repo, there's there's this Steam API helper that I could never get to work. So what I did is just I hard coded um, my uh, game path. So there are like three locations in there. Um, you just need to look at program uh, search for program files, and, and you'll see um, where to change it. If they're the same, then you don't have to do anything. And next, uh, go to programs.cs and look at line 24. And what you need to do there is change the ESP32 IP address. And if you also change the COM port, you need to also match it here. Next, if you go to line 36, uh, you could set the, uh, you know, like a limited magazine, etc., to true or false if you want that, or false if you don't want to. And you could also set some additional cheat codes if you want. Then you could just click on build and run it, or optionally you could create a an executable that you could put on your desktop, uh, and you could do that by publishing it. And here's the final build. I added some paint that looks. So turn it on. And once it connects to Wi Fi, the blue LED should light up. And that's the, uh, the battery indicator. I thought, I thought it looks good having that in there. And you can still access all the uh, the quest controllers in the back. Mm -hmm. 
this is the high tech connector that I was talking about so I could just disconnect that easily and charge the battery as needed. Time for testing. And here it is in action. I'm also wearing my B Haptics Taxip X40 Haptic Vest uh, and also the Tactosi for arms. The haptic feedback from the uh, electric blowback motor is, is pretty good, it's very strong, and it actually negatively affects my aiming, or I'm just a terrible shot. The gun has a good amount of weight, um, but it's not nose heavy, and it feels balanced. This is just version 1 and I'd like to add a couple more things like add game launcher GUI and uh, building a holster and add detection when the gun is holstered and support more games like Arizona Sunshine and Pistol Whip. A big thanks to Lucid VR Discord channel especially to Lil Nyan Cat and PKYA for their advice. <laughs> 